Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my travel essentials. If you guys follow me on any of my social media, then you know I've been talking about my upcoming trip out of the country to Europe that I'm super excited about. So I thought I would do a what's in my travel bag video, kind of the natural hair edition, and there will be a few beauty products thrown in as well. And yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with some hair products. So first up, I am gonna be taking my absolute ride or die edge control gel and this is the Maya organics flexible hold edge gel and it is pretty much at this point the only edge gel that I use um, I used to use the cream of nature one and I tried the first free curls one however all of them do require that I either reapply or they build up over time or they just honestly do not have enough hold for my hair. This is the only one that literally, I use it at the beginning of the day, I'm good all day. And it's also super versatile. I can use it for my edges, I can smooth it through my hair to create a sleek puff or a low bun or a really cute ponytail. Um, basically, the options are endless and whenever I need a sleek look, I definitely Definitely go for this edge gel and since I'm going to be having some dress up nights I'm going to be going out to dinner and things like that I basically just want the options to play with my hair and I will be having my hair out not in a protective style so I'm taking basically a ride or die products only for this trip I'm not going to be trying to do any reviews while I'm overseas no one has time for that I'm only taking products that I know for sure are going to give me the results I want and are going to just have me confident in my kind of hair routine basically so this is definitely a product that I cannot travel without. Okay guys, so next up is going to be a beauty item. This is the Pure Bare It All 12 Hour 4-in-1 Skin Perfecting Foundation. I actually have this one right now and I love that I was able to get basically the face I'm wearing in about 10 minutes to be honest. Um, I did come home and add the lip before I started filming just to look a little fancy for y'all but I love that I can basically get a really beautiful finish to my face and this formula is demi matte so it does help with oil control and it's definitely not luminous and the reason why that's important for me is because I will be going to a climate that's a bit warmer so since it's very warm there right now for me I'm a greasy girl anyway but I definitely get greasy if it's warm out Outside. So I'm trying to take as many mattifying beauty items as I possibly can. I love how light and compact it is. I can actually take this in my carry-on, which is even better because it is under the TSA fluid ounce standards. It's only 1.5 fluid ounces, and a little of this really goes a long way, you guys. I really love the formula, and like I said, it does not take much of this to basically give me the look I like. So I will be taking another foundation for if I dress up and go somewhere more formal or to like dinner or I just kind of want to have more of a beat face. But for my everyday foundation, I really, really love this. I'm not going to have to fool with a ton of stylers, oils, and the like. So I'm going to be rocking with my Camille Rose Moisture Milk. This features rice, milk, and macadamia oil. just really really responds beautifully to this product I have been raving about it for weeks over on my Instagram and here on YouTube I do have a tutorial which I'll put in the description box of this video showcasing how well my hair responded to this wonderful styler so it would just be crazy of me to not take this with me literally when I do my hair routine when I'm traveling I want to keep it as simple as possible and I want it to be concise and I want to be dragging a whole bunch of products this bottle is not too heavy and it's pretty small so it'll tuck away beautifully in my luggage and it's just a go-to product I don't need any other stylers or anything else to accompany this I don't need a leave-in I don't need an oil or any of that one product wonder right guys here. so next up another beauty item it is the 100% pure mattifying primer with the vitamins and antioxidants and seaweed collagen and I am really trying to make my makeup that I do have and the routine that I do use a bit more natural where I can I am by no means 
completely like vegan with my beauty products but I'm working on getting a little better and a little more conscientious of the type of products I'm using so I was definitely intrigued by this 100% pure um, mattifying primer I used to love the Smashbox um, primer back in the day and I kind of got away from primers but they are super important and this one caught my eye because it is mattifying and I really really like it I've already put it to the test um, for the past couple weeks now and I'm in, I really did not have high expectations to be 100% honest with what this primer is going to come out like especially because it says it's 100% pure you know not knocking anyone that loves their natural beauty products but I just thought it was going to probably be a little bit more inferior than the traditional makeup primers that I've used in the past however the formula is very very reminiscent of the Smashbox primer it is very impressive it feels so silky on the skin it does work beautifully under the makeup that I'm using and I really did see a difference with my foundation and I actually also since I'm using a matte foundation wanted to see what this worked like on its own with just a little concealer so I used this and the LA girl concealer that does not have any mattifying properties in it and it still kept my skin from getting super greasy Plus, I do love that it does have um, ingredients in it that are good for the skin to me which is super important because sometimes when you travel and I'll be going to New York too for a bit so I'm going from a cooler climate into warm it can sometimes make your skin act up a bit so I also want to incorporate as much good healthy ingredients into my skincare routine while I'm traveling as possible because I'm not trying to have a breakout ruin my vacation and this definitely has vitamins for the skin in it and antioxidants to help promote healthy skin as well so definitely impressed with this if you guys are looking for a more natural option definitely check out the 100% pure brand I am truly impressed and this is gonna be one of my beauty travel essentials okay guys so next is the cleanser that I'm gonna be rocking with it's the Myel organics detangling co-wash and the reason why I'm taking a co-wash with me is because I want to just gently cleanse my hair again I want to keep my hair as moisturized as possible while traveling when my hair is happy and moisturized it is way easier to manage it doesn't give me nearly as hard a time as it would if it was a bit dry or anything like that that's why I really find deep conditioning and moisture super important when you're building a hair routine that's a whole other video though so back to the topic at hand this detangling co-wash is really really good you guys what I really love about it the most is that it's going to knock out two steps in one and like I said since I am on vacation I'm not trying to have a wash day when I'm at home leisurely doing my hair that's one thing but when I'm traveling and just need to get my hair done for the next week huh I do the really quick version of a wash day which means it's really like a wash hour and this co-wash is basically going to help me both cleanse and condition my hair in one step and this Myel Organics co-wash has a ton of slip so my detangling will be a breeze so I can literally cleanse condition and have my hair detangled and ready for deep conditioning in one step so this was definitely just a no-brainer as a travel essential that I have to take with me Fresh Nutrient Moisture Rejuvenate Body Wash by Dove. Y'all know this was in my favorites video. I love the pear and aloe vera scent. I am taking the big bottle with me. I, I'm debating between taking this big bottle or getting one of the like little go tubes to take, but I love taking really luxurious showers. So I don't know. I'm going to be gone about a month. So. I'm heavy handed I don't know but a little of this goes a long way so I feel like I can maybe get away with just taking a smaller travel size of this so I probably will do that but I just love the dub and the nutrient moisture ingredients make sure that your skin is definitely soft you're smelling good and for me when you're going from a warm to cold and then back to cold so I'll be going from East Coast um, DC area to New York then to Lisbon then to Rome so I'll be going through a couple of different climates because each place is kind of at a different point within the seasons right about now and I'll be going from 50s and 40s to 80s so that can definitely make your skin dry and I find that I have pretty dry skin just anyway so for me taking a body wash that's very moisturizing is awesome and I do not do um, hotel soaps those things will dry your skin out every time they have so many really harsh detergents in them that I just don't even fool with any kind of like supplied <laughs> 
body wash items I bring my own and this is definitely my travel essential love 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 Dove and it's just such a good buy that you can't you can't turn it down like it's Dove okay now my deep conditioner of choice which has to be the meltdown mask extreme repair by weed ad love this stuff I have tons of reviews and videos talking about it love 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 this mask from weed ad and this is kind of like a reset button for my hair as well in addition to being a deep conditioner so if my hair at any point feels kind of like is trying to adjust or it's a little bit out of sorts using this will get it right back together and yeah just definitely not taking any products <laughs> that aren't ride or dies with me and this is definitely my ride or die conditioner that I know will have my curls popping hydrated it has a perfect balance of both protein and moisture in it and elasticity all in one step so we're keeping this regimen as concise as possible because I mean I'm not trying to have my suitcase full of hair products so this is nice and small compact and definitely has enough for multiple deep conditionings in it so I'm good to go okay guys last hair product is the diva curl super cream coconut curl styler in their travel size bottle one I had to just go with this because it's travel size and I also am going to be taking a couple of um, one decadence travel sizes that I have over there in little sample packets because they're just so great for in a pinch just in case like I want a different look or I want a different vibe. I love this styler because it is so lightweight and it works really great on my hair. And sometimes I want a really, really voluminous kind of just wash and wear look. I know that the coconut styler works great for that and I might just want to switch it up. So just to have a backup, I'm definitely taking the Diva Curl travel items that I have and I'm going to be putting them in my carry-on. Plus not that i want this to happen but in the instance that my luggage does not make it on time or it cuts slightly into my trip i will have products in my actual carry-on bag with me so that in the meantime in between time i don't have to worry about my hair okay guys so i have three more beauty products to talk about and they're all different so let me go ahead and get the body products out the way first first up is this shea body oil now that's have dry skin pretty much all the time but especially going from two different temperatures and then also having the warmer weather really any time of year honestly I can't blame it on warmer weather I can't blame it on cooler weather all year long my skin is dry and has a propensity to really really get dry and ashy and no one has time for that I'm definitely going for a glowy vibe while I'm over in Europe so this shea body oil is definitely a go to now I talked about the LV body butter in my favorites video and they let me try the shea body oil <sighs> yes first of all it smells amazing so it's literally like two things in one because it's like a lotion and perfume I don't have to worry about taking perfume with me because this scent of this smells so beautiful on my body and literally she recently let me try the samples of her other scents as well which is super cool so if you're kind of trying to decide between which one you want to take with you definitely check out the sample scents on the LV body um, website however all of them are bomb like that's that's what made it worse because okay let me let me try to stay focused here focused so the shea body oil is gonna be coming with me one because it is super compact and you guys know I do love the Nivea body lotion but it's a huge jar and it's very very heavy Plus, it does not have any scent. This is two-in-one. This is literally moisturized skin and smelling good. And I love that it doesn't solidify. So when I go to New York, especially upstate New York area where it's still a bit cooler, you guys, oh, not looking forward to that. It won't solidify on me. And when I'm in the heat, I don't have to worry about, like, if it was a body butter when I went to Italy, definitely it would have melted. And I don't want to take a chance of that ruining my luggage. I love the awesome packaging of this and the fact that this is like a really secure um, nozzle. I thought it was going to be a spray bottle, but instead it's like a pump. So you pump out like a serum. And I promise you guys a little bit of this. Oh, I'm ashy right now. Ooh. Y'all didn't see that. That's for the purpose of the demonstration. I knew I was ashy. That was surely for the purpose of demonstration. Anyway, 
literally you guys that covers my whole arm that was literally what I'm not faking It's that was one pump that was one pump plus it smells so good and I love that it's literally like absorbed into the skin so it goes right into the skin the same way the body butter did it's not like I'm walking around greasy you know what I mean because it's like I said it's warm there so I want to have moisturized skin but I do not want to look like back in the day when you know like winters and stuff happen and your parents would be like come let me grease you down after you got out of the tub nobody wants that I don't want to like I have Vaseline all over me so this is wonderful it just looks like I have beautiful skin that is healthy and moisturized and supple that's what I'm going for not the whole back in the day Vaseline look no shade our parents were doing the best they could but yeah this stuff right here uh love love this is just like such a bomb invention okay I gotta I gotta move on because I don't want to have to edit this video forever next is the um, Dove dry spray invisible and I got the one that doesn't have white marks on a hundred colors first of all Dove dry spray is just bomb but them upgrading and doing this one that doesn't make any white marks and it really doesn't is amazing this is going to keep you protected it is actually 48 hours so if you're funky and you just want to not apply deodorant another day you can get away with it now personally me I like to do it every single day instead of push it to 48 hours that's on you anyway since it's going to be warm there, I do not want to take the chance and smell and be stinky. Who wants that? It's going to be pretty hot up in the 80 degrees. You know what I'm saying? So you want something that's going to keep you secure. You don't want your right guard to go left, as my mama would say. And this Dove Dry Spray works beautifully. Plus, because it is definitely the um, hypoallergenic and it doesn't have uh, as many irritants to the skin it's one of the few deodorants I can use even though like I said I am trying to go the natural route with my deodorants it's one of the few that I can use that does not irritate my underarms so yeah plus it smells so good and just just clean I love Dove so this was definitely a no-brainer it's a travel essential for me it's compact I mean yeah all right it just is what it is. The last product that I have to talk about today is the Black Up Cosmetics. Let me read the name. I do not want to mispronounce it. It is the Waterproof Matte Brow Powder Gel and Brush. Okay, so I feel like I've heard a ton of things about brow gels and brow powders and dip brow and brow wiz and Anastasia Beverly Hills is kind of the only brow powders and items that I see promoted and pushed and talked about on makeup channels. I don't hear a lot of people talking about Black Up Cosmetics. I got to try this and let me just say, travel essential. First of all, I don't have to take a brush with me. The applicator is literally in it, is inside there. And then you're probably saying, well, where's the product? You just simply, Take a little dip and then apply. I have it on my brows now. It is waterproof gel and it literally has a matte finish so that even as the day proceeds, which always happens to me, I get very greasy on my forehead and my brows are super shiny by the time the day is over. This has definitely reduced that tremendously. I'm not sure where I've been, but this has definitely changed my life. It is so bomb. I love that I do not have to have a makeup brushy. You know, this is like literally a brush and the gel and everything inside one. It's just one little easy step. And I just, I'm just, yeah. I am so impressed. I am so impressed with this. And I love the finish. I love that it's waterproof and smudge proof. So unless you're really, really rubbing your eyebrow, which I did the other day, and it does move if you really, really rub it but it was at the end of the day and i started getting greasy and oil does affect waterproof items but before then before i got greasy this was staying put i love it it doesn't transfer if you're like me and you weren't blessed with the fullest of brows and you have to fill them but you're kind of scared of getting the whole tattoo thing happening this right here get you get you some that's all I've got to say. That's all I got right, to say. So I lied. I have one last product to talk about. It is this eyeshadow palette from Maybelline, the Nudes palette. I have to do makeup and I want to make sure that I have the easiest 
makeup routine possible and this literally has so many beautiful shades it just it just yeah I love this palette I've talked about it so many times and it has to come with me I mean it's literally just the looks that you can create with this are beautiful they're great for daytime for evening I talked about it even more my favorites so I had to take this with me and I do a lot again I do have one last thing here it is right next to me this ColourPop trio um, highlighter set in dark That's the shade I got. I love these for so many reasons. First of all, the color payout and the texture of these is beautiful. And because they are formulated for darker skin, these highlighters do not make me look ashy whatsoever. They are so beautiful. There's a just there's just one look. There's just a swatch of one. Look how pretty that is. literally just take a night out and put on this one is a very soft one so if you are not a person that wants to have that highlight bling look this one is called super shock I'm sorry this one's called soft serve and it's really really good and then they have two others that are a bit more bold and true golds which I love but I also love that you can literally take this and just go across your chest in your arms and have a really even bronzed look to you it is beautiful I tried it the other day and I will have like sun dresses and stuff on when I'm there because it is like I said warmer so I will have my arms and things out and it just gave my skin such a glow when I mixed it the other day with the LV body um, shape oil after I applied it so once I blend it in you can see it just kind of gives your skin a really pretty even look and I just love it. So it has multiple purposes for me. It's a highlighter both for body and also for face and cheek and everything. And I just also use this a couple times as an eyeshadow. So I love the versatility of this product, the finish, and just how beautiful the shades look on my darker skin. That is it. I don't think I lied anymore. I think I've covered all of my travel essentials and y'all probably like, girl, you have any room for your clothes? Look, I'm working on myself. But I got to take me some beauty products with me. I got to take me some natural hair products with me. I am who I am. And yeah, I'm not just trying to be fat. I'm traveling and looking crusty. I'm trying to be traveling and looking fabulous. So I hope this video was helpful for any of you guys that are going to be doing summer vacays or that just are interested in knowing some of the products that I love and that I would consider an essential. So that's pretty much it you guys thank you for watching i will be sharing pictures over on my instagram if you're interested in seeing pictures from my trip once i go i have one week left and i am counting down every day i drive to work man i am counting down that has wished me well on my trip and wished me to have a safe trip i do appreciate it and i hope to see you guys in the next video i probably will not be posting here on youtube because i'm not sure how my internet situation will be when i travel plus i ain't gonna lie i'm gonna be eating living life talking to people maybe getting married i don't know i really don't know so won't be posting over here but i will be on my instagram so if you want to catch up with me definitely follow me there it is at mg underscore underscore 03 that's it guys thanks for watching bye